adjusting the toe on version 25 through 29 rear suspension. Toe is when we have a, a tire attached, whether it points out, toe out, or points in, toe in, or points straight forward, toe neutral. They each have different suspension characteristics. For maximum fuel economy, the least drag, we want toe neutral, pointing straight forward. Here's how it adjusts. If you look straight down, and you can put a ruler on the hub carrier if you want, but actually I, I can just see it here. This is a straight edge, and this is a straight edge. You might be able to see we have slight toe out right now. To adjust toe on this version, V31 does something different because uh, actually this system's kind of crummy. Uh, it has bounce steer. As the suspension compresses, it changes toe slightly, which is not suspension neutral, but it works. And it actually works better than most cars on the road right now that you'd buy. But uh, we have something even better for V31. This is the steering arm, which in this case is our toe adjust arm. We have a bolt in it and a bracket. To adjust it, you put washers on one side or the other side. And that'll adjust toe out, toe in. Um, oh yeah, we have barely any clearance here. Please check uh, when you get your car, if uh, when you put the wheels on and put the car on its weight, if this rubs. If it does, take an angle grinder to the corner of this bracket. You actually don't need this bracket top at all. You can actually even cut it off. Leave um, enough room for a one inch diameter around this bolt head on both sides. Then your stress, you, you'll still be strong enough to support the, uh, the toe adjust. Now an even better system if you want it that will reduce bump steer under compression having the toe change is if you put a joint here that lets this bend too. So this already bends, it has a joint and it has a bearing, a spherical rod end bearing, it's called a heim joint uh, or a, a spherical rod end bearing. Putting one here as well will reduce bump steer and Rob Moorbacher did that on his car in Maryland and shipped me a set here in Seattle. If you install one here and thread it into the A-arm, that will also work. Um, this actually handles pretty well, honestly, but that would be even better. Um, that's how you'd adjust the toe. Please adjust the toe after you have it attached to your car, because most chassis have been welded. When they're welded, the, cha the metal moves towards heat, period. When these chassis are welded, they'll often toe, well, they'll tuck in on the rear, moving towards the heat of this weld joint. This one was bolted together to avoid that, so the chassis is actually perfectly straight. But most people weld theirs. Since the rear is open to let the engine roll in and out to swap engine modules, the, re the rear tucks in. That means a lot of them have rear toe out. To adjust for that for your chassis, please angle the hub carrier. That's the thing that matters. The actual face the wheel attaches to be in line with the front hub carrier. So they're both perfectly on a line on both sides. You can do that just by holding a long straight piece of material uh, from one to the other. Then if you put a framing square or anything that's beautifully right angle to the other side and a piece on the other side, you can check if you're square all the way around. And then you can check the back end as well. There's also a trick you can look up online to do it with string. That's also fine. But uh, that is your toe adjust. Your uh, Ackerman angle, sorry, your um, caster angle can be adjusted by moving this back a set of holes, the strut top mount, or forward a set of holes. And your caster angle is adjustable with an Allen wrench in these sockets in and out. For maximum efficiency, for minimum drag, we want zero degrees ca uh, camber, zero degrees toe, and caster is actually drag as well but that really does influence the car's squirreliness. Um, it won't auto retract coming out of a corner. It'll just stay cornering if you have zero caster. So although zero caster is the most efficient, I would recommend about seven degrees caster, uh, which is dialed in to this suspension with the slope of the holes. Um, there you go. That's how you'd adjust it. Please adjust it when you get yours.